Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to RimWorld. My name, of course, is Robert Potato, and uh, and yeah, let us let us get started, let us commence, and let us hope and pray for a less interesting inverted commas episode than uh, than the last time, because last uh, last last the last couple of episodes, if I can actually manage to speak today, have been incredibly incredibly busy and worrying and and just a whole just a big mess to be honest just a big mess and um, anyway yes we're we're gonna try and set up some more defenses I think um, we're gonna set up at least another couple of gun turrets and sandbags and stuff we've got a couple up here we probably need a couple over here, a couple down here, you know, and whatnot, just because we actually need to be protected, and I'm not willing to compromise our uh, our safety and our security, but whatever. Uh, we've set this to be mined out, so hopefully Grumpage is going to get down uh, to business and start doing that, uh, which is nice, which is good. Laystrat, I was told in no uncertain terms that Laystrat needs to have the uh, the pump shotgun. And honestly, I think, you know, I think I agree with that. I think Laystrat having the pump shotgun would not be the worst thing in the world. Um, so that's fine. That's good. Sergeant Toast, you are probably going to haul some steel. Yes, you are indeed. That's awesome. That's what we like to see. Hard working people. Compacted steel. We've got lots of steel down here that we can take advantage of. Gold ore. Uh, I think that that's... I don't know if that's valuable. I would presume, hell yes, it probably is. But, uh, but I, you know, I just don't know. I just do not know. I have no idea. No concept. Uh, ben, you're getting back on the research. What are we actually researching at the moment? Gun turret cooling. That's going to come in very, very handy in the future, I hope. And, uh, you know, honestly, I think it will. I think it will. I don't think that, uh, that that's going to be too much of a problem. I think we've actually already researched compacted mining picks or whatever. Pneumatic picks, that's the one, yeah. So, uh, very, very happy with that. Gun turret cooling in progress. Fantastic. Great, so Veronica, you are switching out some potatoes for some reason, probably to make sure that everything stays fresh and fine and happy. Grumpage, you're making a long, you're long, long way down to the uh, down to the mine over there. That's fine. Your way, start mining it. That's that's okay, you know. In fact, to be honest, to be honest, let's set Grumpage's timetable at. Uh, I want you to be, I want you to get up a little bit earlier. I want you to get up a little bit earlier than everybody else. I know, I know, I know, I know you're going to be sleepy and annoyed and grumpy and whatever, but I don't really care because all I, I, all I want you to do is mine. And if it takes you fucking literally three hours to get to the, to the mining location, then you're not, you're not really worth it to me. You're not, you're not hugely great. Um, yeah, you're not, you're really not fantastic to me. You're really not fantastic to me. Sergeant Toast, uh, you're just wandering at the moment. That's not ideal. I would, I would like you to set up some turrets for me, actually. Um, it's about time we start thinking about opening up this area. So, let's, uh, let's set up some turrets over here. We'll queue that one up for production, and we'll queue that one up. And we'll also get some sandbags over here. And some over there. Fantastic. So, uh, that's a temporary one. This is probably going to be a permanent one. Uh, this is only temporarily there so that we can eliminate the bad guys in uh, in that area. That's fine. Are you dead? You are, you are very dead. You are very, very dead. Yeah, you've got nothing of interest that we want on you. Dead body of a human. Sorry about that. Nope, nothing. And uh, people were also saying to me, "Yeah, you can you can totally like literally chop bits out of out of your your colonists and sell them." And uh, and I thought, "You know what? That sounds like an absolutely morbid idea and something that I would never do to them." Yeah, that's exactly it. Um <laughs> yeah. That was, it was, it, 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 I thought about it, I thought about it for, for a fraction of a second, and, uh, and then I decided, you know what, I don't think I want to do that, I don't think I, I don't think I have, I, I don't think I have it in me to, uh, to take all that they hold dear to themselves, but, you know, maybe eventually, maybe one day, 
if if we desperately need money, but there's nothing I don't think there's nothing I think we really need. I mean, we don't actually have any medical kits, so might be might be an idea to call somebody about that. And uh, we'll see the next time a trading ship comes into uh, comes into view. We'll see if we can trade something of interest. But you know what? It's not a big deal if we don't get to do that. Uh, we do need to go after some more silver. That's something that we are going to go after eventually. Um, but for now, I think we're really going to try and focus on security and uh, and whatnot. Uh, power. Let's take this down here. Booyah, that's fantastic. That's fine. Sergeant Toast, you are getting some more uh, some more steel. That's awesome. Veronica, you're bringing some steel back. Laystrat, you're bringing some steel back. That's good. It's only 6 o'clock in the evening. And Grumpage, yeah, I know you're going to have to start the long trek back to uh, to here. But that's fine. You'll get there eventually. Sergeant Toast, you are really going to town on the building. Good on you, buddy. Good on you. That's what we like to see. We like to see dedicated colonists. That's what it's all about. Uh, battery power. I think we lost all of our battery power um, a while ago, actually. And we need to be seriously wary of... Uh, yeah, we need to be wary of something getting struck by lightning and then just the entire house going up in flames. Laystrat, you are idle at the moment. Well... What are you good for? I don't want to say absolutely nothing, because I know you are quite good. Uh, crafting, you're alright at crafting. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, just go over a break. Go over a break, that's fine. Laystrat will, will finish building up some other stuff, and I presume Grumpage is going to start the long trek back. Oh, and she is actually carrying some steel. So, I would expect her to be to be over here in about, probably literally three hours. Three hours of in-game time. A group of travelers are passing by. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And we could kill them. We could kill them and capture them. Or we could fire at them. Um, where are they? Are they down to the bottom? No. Ah, here they are. What have you got? You got anything interesting on you? You've got a great bow. I don't really care about a great bow. You've got a steel spear. Interesting. In darkness, lacks a bionic part. Well, there's nothing I can do with that. You're good at melee, good at crafting. That's okay. And what about you? Yeah, you're pretty bad overall. You're good at medicine, though. Perhaps we should just fire on these guys and just try and capture them. That might be kind of cool, actually. I mean, we haven't actually tried it before, but perhaps if they, perhaps if they walk near us, I don't really know. Uh, you're age 16, so that's kind of useful. You're, well, not kind of useful, really. You're kind of young, which is nice. That means you'll be energetic. I mean, who calls themselves Cod? I mean, what sort of a name is Cod? I'm sorry, but Cod is just not a, not a good name. Okay, well, Grumpage is now arriving. Uh, and it took her literally three hours. So I just want to tell everybody that I was right. And uh, and if you guessed that it would take her less than three hours, then you were wrong. So just a quick little FYI there. Thought I'd uh, thought I'd mention that. So in the time that it's taken Grumpage to actually get there, Laystrat has been there and back, carrying uh, carrying some some compacted steel, or steel should I say? After it's been uncompacted, after being mined out. So, yeah, wow. Crazy, crazy times. Uh, everybody's going to sleep. We can afford to fast forward time a little bit. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Three o'clock in the morning. Where, where have the visitors gone? They just wandered off? Is that it? That wasn't very exciting. I was hoping to capture them. And kill them. Okay, uh, Grumpage. Grumpage should be up. Grumpage should be should be doing stuff. I set her timetable. Oh, I, I didn't say anything. Uh, well, let's set Grumpage on work for that part. Okay, yeah, we want her we want her to to work. Okay, so get to work, Grumpage. Have your breakfast, and then and then go out and work. Good. 
Wow, so look, everybody's having a lovely meal around the table. It's not often that happens. What? A group of pirates. They've dropped right on top of us. Well, honestly, I don't think they could have dropped in a better position, quite frankly. Okay, everybody, apart from Grumpage, because Grumpage is fucking useless. Uh, so, Sergeant, in fact, this is a job for Sergeant Toast and Laystrat. Okay, get out there and, uh, and be defended. Yeah, okay, so they are, fingers crossed, going to get uh, a little bit annihilated. Because they dropped right in between two turrets. Uh, this turret might take a little bit of damage, but that's alright. Uh, Veronica. Okay, yeah, let's just... Let's just try and capture him. If we can capture him, that's nice. But if we can't capture him, that's fine too. Okay, Laystrat. Can you fire at this guy? Can you fire at him? If we can catch him... No, he's just out of range. You know what? I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. That was uh, that was very well done. I feel that we did that almost superbly. Uh, pump shotgun. Uh, can we can we take this guy's limbs out? I don't think we can. He's still alive. Is he still alive? No, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. That's fine. Okay, great. Um, castaway. He's got nothing on him of real interest to us. Um, well, that's a shame. That's a real shame, actually. Uh, what can Veronica do with this? Yeah, strip him. Uh, I know you're gonna you're gonna be a little bit unhappy with that. You ate nutrient paste, and you're about to see a dead body. But I don't really care, to be honest. I mean, you're gonna take him to the dead body pile over here, with a lot of other dead bodies, actually. A Kevlar harm a helmet. Holy cow. That's kind of useful actually. We should be stripping these people. We should definitely be stripping these people. Um let's also say that yeah, the survival meal people can have. Everything people can have, effectively. And Sergeant Toast, you're gonna go to town and fix some of that good stuff. Uh, also we're gonna set some stuff to be mined out. There we go. That's a lot of new orders that people are gonna are gonna get up to. Okay, uh, Veronica, you strip this person, and you strip this person, and all of this stuff can be collected and hopefully used. Actually, we can keep it for the winter, or we can keep it for whenever we need it. Uh, winter is fast approaching us, actually, uh, unfortunately. What are you doing? You're meditating. That's okay. You're meditating with a pump shotgun. That's cool too. That's cool too, man. I mean, don't want to disturb you. Don't disturb your meditation or whatnot. Uh, hauling the steel slag chunk to the dumping pile. That's fair enough. That's good. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Grumpage, you're making the long ass journey back to mine compacted steel. I sort of want you to go to bed right now, but I don't really care about you. You're just you're just pissing me off right now. I'm sorry. You're pissing me off. Uh, ooh. No, that's that's not really of interest to us. Uh, at least we've got some more supplies that we can that we can use. That's kind of cool. What about you? What have you got on you? Nah, you've got nothing of interest. So there is dead bodies literally littered around everywhere. Laystrat, you're gonna see a dead body. So yeah, observed a rotting corpse times three. Yeah, so everybody is gonna have a little bit of a a mood downgrade because they saw. Uh, a, a dead corpse. So, <laughs> fantastic. You know, what more can you say? Grumpage, you're getting back at uh, at midnight. Well, you know what? You need to start scheduling your, your times better because you're up in five hours. You're up in five hours to work. Because I say so. Because I'm a cruel god. Okay. Uh, these things seem to be perishing. And I think that's because we just don't have... We just do not have. We just we just don't have the heat in there. I don't think. 
unfortunately. I just don't think we do. I just do not think we do. Uh, I want to try and heat this place up a little bit, so um, let's get the heater sort of thing sorted out. Uh, obviously, it would be nice if we could utilize the heat that was coming from here, but I don't think that's going to be possible, so I think we're just going to have to get heaters up and running just normally. Grumpage, yeah, you're probably going to be fucking furious. Uh, in a little pain, constraining clothes. Yeah, not really bothered. That's fine. Whoa, Ben, have you got a have you got a coat? What's your gear? You've got you've got some nice nice kit there, buddy. Laystrat is literally sprinting across. So put it this way: Grumpage got up earlier, and yet Laystrat is already getting there in a way quicker manner. So it's a good thing that we uh, that we managed to to get Laystrat on board. What a visitor! What are you going to do, a female councilman of Cook's Forest, Sergeant Toast? I actually have a job for you, buddy. What I want you to do, whoa, don't draft. Uh, what I actually want you to do is I want you to build a heater of some sort, temperature heater. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, we don't have enough. Uh, we don't have enough uh, materials stored, but that's all right. Let's give that a try. Let's let's try and get the heat up and running. Two times speed. That's where we want to be. Ben, you're doing okay with the research. If you get back to work, that would be fantastic. Hello. What have you got? You've got a steel shiv. Uh, ben, can you go talk to this chick? You can't really be. Can you even really be talked to? I don't really don't really think you can to be honest oh well I guess I guess you can just buzz off I mean we don't want to kill you because you're a councilman and I, I, I didn't want to do that I just couldn't do that it's dangerous it's dangerous to do but uh, you're just literally wandering around making the place look untidy that's fair enough that's fair enough what I'm more concerned about is that we've got steel over here and we've got a heater to be building and we've got a turret to be building. Well, somebody is actually building that. It was a way to say that people aren't doing anything that I want them to do. Um, but that turret coming along is actually kind of handy. So that's nice. Um, it looks like we will be ready imminently to open up this door over here. Um, I'm not entirely sure that I want to. Uh, I'm not entirely sure that I've got the balls to do it. But, uh, you know, we'll see. You're still wandering around. Cargo pods. You've detected a cluster of cargo pods. Jump to location. Oh, fine meals. Fine meals are are of interest to us. Gold. Oh, I'll take some gold. Don't mind if I do. Okay. What? Colonists are suffering from hypothermia. Oh, please no. Please no. Why? Seeking safe temperature. Sugar. Oh goodness me. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, a priority number one needs to be fixing. Fixing this area. Okay. And let's get a wooden auto door as well. Needs to be priority number one. Why are you seeking safe? T You're not going to find sa safe temperature in there. We need to get the heater up and running right now. Colonist needs treatment. Shit. Veronica. Prioritize treating Sergeant Toast. Laystrat, you're going to need to get some clothes on. Okay, put some clothes on, buddy. It's better than the shite that you were wearing, which is nice. Okay, well, what happened? Visitors from Cook's Forest are leaving. Hypothermia. Frostbite. Yeah, you're... We're, we're in a seriously bad position. Okay, so let's cancel this. Grumpage, you're getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I admire you because it's 
probably fucking freezing outside. And when the winter when the winter comes, you're fully healed, that's great. Sergeant Toast, what are you doing? Consuming fine meal. Oh, okay, that's that's fine. I think you you deserve that. You've got frostbite in your little left toe. Yeah, um rest until healed. Please rest until healed. In the meantime, Ben, where are you going? You're going to consume the fine meal. Okay. That's uh, it's a little bit of a bittersweet pill, you know, because we have to leave to get the fine meal. You know what? Let's say no. Nobody gets the fine meal for now. Sorry. No can do. Okay, Ben. Uh, you're treating Sergeant Toast. That's nice. Colonists need beds. Okay, bulk traders. Okay, um, Veronica, what are you going? How's your how's your health coming along? Wow, shit. Sergeant Toast, you're <laughs> really dodgy position. Where are you guys going? Okay, um, right, Sergeant Toast, what is your gear? I mean, is there anything that you could wear that's that's great? Not really. Um, cloth jack, cloth jacket. A squirrel skin. Could you make? Could we make you? Uh, uh, I don't really want pants to make. You put on something useful for us. Um, just. Honest, honest to God, just try and fix this, okay? Prioritize working on the wooden blueprint, okay? Um, I know, I know, I know he's got, I know he's got health concerns. I know he's got health concerns, but we need to do this. We need to do this. Seeking safe temperature. We'll, come on, buddy, get to work, please. Why are you not fixing this? Prioritize working on the wooden structure. Of course. Do something to keep yourself warm. Research finished. Okay, that's fantastic news. But... Okay, fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Okay, let's go for uh, temperature. We want to put a heater here okay and I want you to prioritize working on the heater critical alert hypothermia colonist needs treatment rest until healed you are fucking freezing my friend people need to treat this guy Prioritize treating him. Fucking just, just treat him. Severe illness. Sergeant Toast, you cannot die. You cannot die. If you die, then... You lost your left index finger. Shit. It's getting colder and colder and colder. Everything is going to shit. Okay, well, you treated him. That's good. But he does have extreme hypothermia. Okay, let's just pray to God that the temperature gets a little bit better. Okay, so these these clowns are leaving. Grumpage. Prioritize working on the heater blueprint. Fix. Just make, make a fucking heater. Make a fucking heater. Please, God. Prioritize constructing the heater. Just make it. I don't care if you're shit at constructing things. I don't care. Laystrat. Oh, he's not a constructor. Veronica. Prioritize constructing this. We need to. And prioritize constructing this. Okay, good. And prioritize constructing this. Okay, and let's bump up the temperature now. Okay, and 
We want to put vents in all of these doors. Target temperature is 71 degrees. I somehow doubt that we will manage to uh, to get to 71 degrees. So indoors we've got minus 3 degrees. That's fine. Uh, ben, you're of course useless as per usual. We're getting there though. We're getting there. You've lost your right thumb and your right index. We index finger. We've got nothing that we can do. You are still having a severe illness. Well, we're fixing you as best we can. And we are actually getting the temperature up a little bit here. Which is kind of nice. I say kind of nice, I say it's I mean it's kind of essential. Uh okay, uh let's let's think about what we can do here. Let's let's test something out. Let's test something out. Event there, event there, event there, event there, and event there. Okay? Great. So that's the that's the production queue for the for the next wee while. And how is this heater doing? The target is 71 degrees. I think that's a little bit high. Let's let's aim for 21 degrees or so. Exhaustion. Grumpage is suffering from exhaustion. Let's adjust your timetable again. Uh, so that you can sleep an extra little bit. And you can do anything for there. Okay. I know I was a little bit harsh on you, Grumpage, but now I value you a lot more. Um, you know, because Sergeant Toast is, is out of action and he's one of our main dudes. So, alas, it is difficult. It is difficult for me. I'm, I'm stressing out a little bit, but, you know, I think it's fine. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Vinobra Potato. A very interesting episode. No idea what's going to happen. Sergeant Toast is a little bit touch and go at the moment. Uh, he's lost a couple of fingers, but, you know, I think he, I think he should be fine. I think he should be fine. No, we'll have to see. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Albert Potato, and, uh, and I will see you next time. Bye!